Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today I'm really excited. I'm going to share with you my top 24 foods for 2024. These are my go-to foods. These are the foods that have helped me lose and maintain a 140 pound weight loss. I pretty much eat most of these foods daily weekly, multiple times a week. So I'm excited to share them with you. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Your bell notification is turned on because I upload five videos every single week. I will link all of the foods down below that you cannot pick up at your local grocery store. Some of these foods I buy online because they're not in my area or they're exclusive online only. I will put everything down below for you with any discounts as well. You'll also find nutrition coaching where I offer personal personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend this is what I followed to lose 140 pounds as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability, questions, or to talk with me directly. I'll link everything I share with you down below as well as my other favorites and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, and we would love to have you. So let's jump in to my top 24 foods for 2024. most of these foods on hand. I think there's one or two that I'm out of or I haven't been able to find. So I am going to be holding up the food. I'm going to put the Weight Watchers points here on the screen for you. And I'll be sharing the calories as well as we go over all of the food. So food number one is something I actually discovered late in 2023 and I fell in love with it. And that's the Alyssa's Healthy Oatmeal Bites. So these are little tiny, basically oatmeal cookies, healthy versions of oatmeal cookies. So this is what they look like and you actually get two of them for 90 calories. They are gluten-free, non-GMO, a great source of fiber and no sugar added. They're really, really delicious. I know that you can find these at some local stores. I cannot, so I just buy them off of Alyssa's website. I usually buy eight little containers at a time so that I can get free shipping, throw them in my freezer, and I eat these almost every single day. I absolutely love these. Now, if you follow me, you know I love a good chicken nugget. I love to top salads with them. I make wraps out of them. I eat them with my favorite no sugar added barbecue sauce or ranch dressing. And there are two breaded chicken nuggets that I really love. Number one is Just Bear. I am going to go ahead and pop a picture in here because I don't currently have any on hand because there's another nugget that I discovered just a couple of months ago that has stolen the show for me. But Just Bear are absolutely delicious. These are very lightly breaded nuggets. A serving is four ounces for 170 calories. You can throw these in your air fryer, pan fry them, throw them in the oven. I've even microwaved them. And again, I love topping salads with them, making wraps with them, just eating them by themselves. They're a great way to get that fast food chicken nugget fix in a healthy way. Like I said, the nugget that has stolen the show for me are the Real Good Nuggets. I knew about the Real Good brand, but I had never tried their nuggets until just like I said, a couple of months ago. These actually have 23 grams of protein. The Just Bear have 17. The Just Bear, the 170 calories, these are only 130. And there's 23 grams of protein. It says gluten-free, grain-free, nothing, nothing artificial, no added hormones, lightly breaded chicken nuggets. They also have chicken strips. These are amazing. I love everything about these. I know that there are some Costco's and Sam's Club that carry these. For me, that's not the case in my area, so I buy them at Walmart. Love them. Love, love, love. If you have not tried these, million out of 10, my all time favorite. Next up is another item I recently discovered and I'm obsessed with it. And that is these Applegate Naturals Chicken Maple Breakfast Sausage Patties. Now they make the links. I love the patties because this is my go-to for a breakfast sandwich and also in my high protein bowl where I do cottage cheese, hash browns, an egg, and a sausage patty. These are so good. They have that perfect savory sweet flavor. 60 calories and five grams of protein. Really nice macros, nice clean ingredients, no antibiotics, really, really delicious. If you love a good maple flavored sausage, you are going to love these. In the freezer section, I find I found these in the freezer section at Walmart. I think there's maybe three left in this bag. Love them. Next up are these little zero carb tortillas. These are from the brand 
Guerrero. They also, Mission also makes these little zero carb tortillas. These are only 25 calories a piece and I love them for little mini tacos. You can toss these in your microwave for about 30 seconds and they get nice and crispy. So I've made little buns out of these, a top one and a bottom one, 50 calories. And there's two grams of protein per tortilla. So not bad for only 25 calories. I really like these. They taste really, really good. They're nice and soft and pliable. Even my husband really likes these. And I typically buy him the big, huge eight inch regular tortillas that are a couple hundred calories. He loves these. I did find a little combo. I did find a variety. I found a multi-pack of these at Sam's Club and I just throw them in my freezer, but you can find these at most grocery stores. These are absolutely my go-to tortillas. Also, if you know, you know, and if you follow me, you know Chia Smash is my bestie. I am obsessed with Chia Smash. I eat this every single day. It goes on my yogurt bowl. I use this in my oatmeal. I use this as a jam or jelly substitute. I love every single flavor that Chia Smash makes. They're all so good. And what I love about them is there's no added sugar and it's four ingredients. So this one has strawberries, lemon, dates, and chia seeds. That's it. Nice, clean ingredients. And it is so good on a yogurt bowl. It just adds that kind of sweetness. You can see that it's very much a jam consistency. That's actually 60% less sugar than jam and it's all naturally occurring sugar. 25 calories per tablespoon. So really, really good in the calories, the points. And I use this on everything. Sometimes I just eat it by the spoonful. Honestly, if I'm craving something sweet and I eat a tablespoon of this, sweet craving is gone. It's really, really delicious. You can find these at your local health food stores like Sprouts and Whole Foods Natural Grocers. You can also buy a six pack on Amazon. So you get six different flavors. That's typically what I do because it ends up being about the same price as the health food store and I can have it shipped to my doorstep and try all the different flavors. So I will link the Amazon ones that I purchased down below for you, but highly recommend. Speaking of yogurt bowls, this is a staple on my yogurt bowl. I love this and that is Catalina crunch. So this is a cereal and it's a keto cereal, but I don't care about that. I care about the fact that this actually has zero sugar, 11 grams of protein and a half of a cup and nine grams of fiber. And to me, it tastes like a crunchier version of cinnamon toast crunch. It is so, so, so good. So I bought this at Costco, the big bag at Costco. You can also order off of the Catalina Crunch website directly. That's typically what I do since Costco typically only has one flavor. They have so many chocolate, chocolate peanut butter. There's a fruity one. There's so many great flavors of the cereal. They also have have snack bars, protein bars. They have a lot of products on the Catalina Crunch website. I do have a discount code. I'll link it for you if you want to order directly off the site. But what I typically do is put a quarter cup on top of my yogurt bowl for the crunch factor. And I'm getting in what? Four and a half grams of fiber and about five and a half grams of protein for the crunch. And it is so good. Let me show you. My bag is about three quarters of the way gone, but this is what it looks like. So it actually even looks like cinnamon toast crunch cereal. It is 110 calories for half of a cup. So like I said, I typically only do a quarter cup. It's vegan, plant-based, high in fiber and no sugar alcohols. Love it. Absolutely love it. Like I I said you can find it at some health food stores, some Costco's, and you can order directly off of the Catalina Crunch website. Again, I'll link a discount for you. Now, the next item I don't have, only because I've been recently shopping at Walmart and my Walmart doesn't carry it, and this is another, if you know, you know. If you follow me, this is something I eat almost daily, and that is my good culture cottage cheese. Now, I prefer the low fat. I don't think it tastes any different than the full fat version, so I buy the light blue container. There's also a dark blue container, which is the full fat, and there's a green container, which is the keto, which I think is even higher fat. I've honestly never purchased the green container. I will buy the full fat if they're out of the low fat, but it's the best cottage cheese. It doesn't have any carrageenan in it, which is an inflammatory. You know I avoid carrageenan other than in my protein shake, in my protein coffee in the morning, I avoid carrageenan. Nice, clean ingredients. I would recommend Good Culture Cottage Cheese as the number one, and number two is going to be, is going to be Daisy. Daisy has nice, clean ingredients as well but I love good culture cottage cheese. She's my ride or die. Now you know that I have followed my personalized macros and calories. I've lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss. And what I focus on is calories and protein. I have a protein goal every day that I meet. So there's a lot of foods that I purchase and utilize daily because it helps contribute to my protein goal. I mean, one of those is the Catalina Crunch versus granola. I'm getting more protein in the Catalina Crunch. So I want to share with you some of my favorite protein based foods 
starting with this coffee mix. This is a new discovery to me. I actually ran into a woman at a weightlifting gym in my community open house and she shared with me the Herbalife High Protein Iced Coffee. I drove all the way to her coffee stand to buy one and it was the best protein coffee I've ever had and since that day I have this every single day. I have a reel where I show exactly how I make the protein coffee. Follow me on Instagram or if you don't come follow me. You can watch the reel and see the recipe but I do two scoops of this. It's a hundred calories 15 grams of protein. Amazing. You can have it hot, iced, or blended. This is the mocha flavor. I also have the caramel macchiato and the house blend, and they're all absolutely incredible. So I do make a second protein coffee every day using the Herbalife Ice Protein Coffee Mix. It's so good. Absolutely delicious. I will link this down below for you. If you love iced coffee, hot coffee, blended, and you want a boost of protein, definitely get this. You will not be disappointed. Now, part of that protein coffee is a protein powder. So I use the Herbalife Iced Coffee Mix and protein powder of your choice. My go-to is Clean Simple Eats. This is my all-time favorite protein powder in the entire world. It's truly the only one I utilize for my protein coffee and for shakes. I do use it for baking, but I prefer devotion for baking. If you're someone who uses protein powder for waffles, pancakes, that type of thing, definitely recommend devotion. I'll link them as well with a discount, but Clean Simple Eats is, if you know, you know, is my favorite protein powder. It's the one I use every single day, sometimes twice a day. They sell them in little individual packets. This is one serving. So I'll dump one serving of this, one serving of this in and make my iced coffee, protein shakes, protein pudding. Pro I mix this in with oatmeal. Greek yogurt, it is so good. It makes amazing ninja protein ice cream. There are so many uses. And in my opinion, Clean Simple Eats is the best protein powder. It's about 100 to 110 calories, 20 grams of protein. Absolutely incredible. Every flavor is a 10 out of a 10. Again, you can buy them in single packs. They actually have a variety pack, so you can try multiple flavors of their protein powder and find your favorite. And then they sell them in big bags as well, which I do have the big bags, but this is just convenient. Convenient on the go for travel, and it's one serving. It's a dump and go protein. Absolutely love Clean Simple Eats. I will link them as well with a 10% discount. Speaking of Clean Simple Eats, there's another product that I really love from them, and that is their protein pancake and waffle mix in vanilla. This is so good. It makes the easiest, most convenient protein pancakes and waffles. Like I said, sometimes I'll use Devotion, but if I want something just quick and easy, this already has the protein and all the other base mixed into it. It is 198 calories for a serving, and a serving is a lot. It's about a half of a cup. It's actually 56 grams, so sometimes I'll just do half of a serving, and it's about 100 calories. A full serving has 15 grams of protein, in a pancake or a waffle. So you are going to get more protein using the Devotion, but this, like I said, is convenient because it's a mix and it's ready to go and it's truly delicious. I absolutely love, love, love this. So you can pick both of these products up on the Clean Simple Eats, web Eats website with the discount. One more protein item that I utilize a lot for travel and on the go is Super Coffee. I'm a big coffee drinker if you didn't figure that out. So I typically have coffee twice a day, once in the morning, once mid-morning, early afternoon, and I really like this for on the go. This one is the cinnamon roll. They are 80 calories and they have 10 grams of protein. So that's a big bang for your protein buck for 80 calories. And I think they taste really good. They taste like an iced coffee. I just drink them right out of the bottle. I've tried all the flavors. They're all really, really good. Sometimes you can find these at Dollar Tree. You can find these at Walmart, really any grocery store. It says zero added sugar, 10 grams of plant-based protein, and 200 milligrams of caffeine. Really, really enjoy super coffee. Now, I always tell my coaching clients to make swaps. Swap out something that doesn't have protein or not very much protein to something that does. One example I give a lot of time is bread. Don't eat white bread or Sara Lee cardboard bread or 45 calorie bread that has zero nutritional value and zero protein, switch over to a whole grain or sprouted bread that has protein. Same goes for milk. Now milk does have protein, but you can make the switch to Fairlife and get twice the protein for the same amount of calories. So Fairlife milk is my go-to. I utilize the fat-free and the chocolate milk. I use this anytime I need milk, whether it's in cereal to bake with, to make a protein shake out of. A lot of times I'll just do Fairlife milk 
CSE Clean Simple Eats Protein Ice blended up and it's a milkshake. It's a milkshake with 33 grams of protein. This has 80 calories in a cup and it's going to give you 13 grams of protein. Regular milk has I think six grams of protein and is more calories. So highly recommend Fairlife. Make those simple swaps from non-protein foods to foods that have protein and that's just an easy way to help reach your protein goal. Now if you know me, you know I'm a sweets lover. I love sweets but I also love salty and crunchy. So another swap that I I made early on in my weight loss journey was to swap regular chips for chips that have protein. Now I do like the Quest protein chips, but I really love these. These are the wild protein chips. These are actually made from chicken. You would never know. You would never know. They taste like potato chips. When you eat them and chew them, you do get chicken on the back end, but not really. It's kind of hard to explain. I would say that they taste definitely more like just a really crunchy potato chip. There's 10 grams of protein per serving, and one serving is about 20 chips, and it's 170 calories. This is the Himalayan pink salt. I've tried all the flavors. They're all amazing. So again, simple, simple swaps that you can make to add more protein into your diet, but still enjoy your favorite foods. I find these at my local Sprout store. They even sell these at places like Walmart and Kroger. Like I mentioned, I have two coffees every single day and I really try to again incorporate protein into my coffee. Just helps me reach my protein goal, but I still get to enjoy my coffee. And every single morning without fail for the last four years, five years, I've had a profi or a protein coffee. And basically what that is, is coffee and a protein shake. And I typically use Fairlife or Premier because I can buy them at Sam's Club and Costco, so it's a better deal, but I really love the Quest shakes. The Caramel Premier I like, but the Quest Salted Caramel is my favorite pre-made protein shake in the world. It has such a good salty caramel flavor. Absolutely delicious. 170 calories, one gram of sugar, only three carbs, and 30 grams of protein. So I start my morning off with 30 grams. Then I make a second protein coffee with this. This is another 35 grams of protein. So I have 65 grams of protein just in my coffee. And this is my daily go-to. I do change up the protein shakes that I use, but I really do like the Quest Salted Caramel. Now you can find these at grocery stores, but I buy them on Amazon because they're the cheapest and you get three four packs. So basically 12 are a case of the protein shakes. I'll link them off of Amazon for you. But if you haven't tried the Salted Caramel Quest, it's honestly my favorite pre-made protein shake. Since we're talking about coffee, I wanna share with you my favorite cold brew and that is Drag Up. Now Drag Up is part of my protein coffee. So it's actually two scoops of the Herbalife, one scoop of the Clean Simple Eats, and then I actually make up the Drag Up cold brew, and I pour three to four inches in the bottom of my glass, add my powders, and use my frother to mix it. It just really enhances the delicious coffee flavor of the Herbalife, and I will use any flavor of Drag Up. I don't discriminate. I love all the flavors. I have tried so many cold brews, and I hate them all. They either have no flavor, or they're super bitter, but Drag Up, it, Drag Up is amazing. I mix it in my cold brew pitcher. I'll pop a picture in here. I bought it off of Amazon. I'll link it for you. I'll link Drag Up for you with a discount. But all you do is add some grinds to the cold brew pitcher, fill it with water, set it on your counter for 24 hours, empty the grinds, pop it in your fridge, and you have homemade cold brew. So much more affordable. I have saved literally hundreds of dollars every month by making this protein coffee concoction at home rather than going to my local coffee shop where I'm paying $6 without protein just for a regular coffee. So Drag Up not only has made my protein coffee the next level, but it saved me so much money. Definitely, in my opinion, the best cold brew you can buy. Now, this might be a weird favorite, but I love these. We love these, my husband and I. Mini cucumbers, you guys, they don't have seeds in them and they are so crunchy. I love them by themselves, on salads, dipped in ranch. Actually, let me share my favorite ranch with you next. Love mini cucumbers. If you struggle to get in your veggies and you are a crunch lover, try these. They are so good. I literally love them. Even my dogs love these. Lola loves cucumbers. They're just so crunchy and yummy. So I had to include these in my favorites because this is something I eat almost daily. And this is my favorite ranch. Now I used to buy Hidden Valley Light. I used to buy just different light dressings. This one, in my opinion, is the best tasting. It tastes like full fat ranch and it has the best ingredients. This is from the brand Marzetti and this is the Simply Ranch. Two tablespoons of this is only 50 calories and one gram of fat. Now it isn't clean per se, but it has better ingredients than a lot of the other light dressings. And then like I said, I think it tastes the most like regular ranch. You can see I'm about halfway through. I actually find this in the produce section with the vegetables. This and this, one of my favorite snacks. Now let's talk about something kind of fun and 
something kind of sweet. I haven't actually shared this on my channel in a while, but that doesn't mean that I still don't use them. All the products that I share with you guys, I continue to use them. You just see a very small snippet of my life. You don't see everything I'm using daily, and that includes yum crumbs. These are little dessert crumbs that I love to add to yogurt bowls. I love to add these to protein pudding, but my favorite way to utilize these is on Ninja Protein Ice Cream. Now, I haven't been making ice cream a lot lately because it's winter, but we're starting to warm up here in Arizona. I think we're going to be 75 today. So ice cream from the, so my Ninja ice cream with protein is coming back into my life. And that is where I really use my yum crumbs. These are just little cakey bits that I top my ice cream with just for a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of texture and crunch. This particular flavor is blueberry cobbler. All of the flavors are really good. And you can buy a pack that has these little packets in all of their flavors. I want to say there's 30 different flavors. I love these. I still utilize these regularly at least once or twice a week. I top my yogurt bowl with these. Anytime I want just a sweet, cakey, kind of crunchy bit, I will utilize yum crumbs. Love them. Absolutely love all the flavors. I've tried them all. They're delicious. I will link them as well with a discount. Now, speaking of crunch, this is probably my favorite cracker. Again, swaps. Instead of eating Ritz or saltines or Triscuits, I swap to a cracker that has protein and that's Chetty's. These to me taste like an elevated Cheez-It. Better than a regular Cheez-It. It's 130 calories for one ounce and you're going to get six grams of protein. What other cracker do you know gives you six grams of protein? And these taste really good. Literally, they taste like a cheesier, crunchier version of a Cheez-It. They have nice, clean ingredients. USA made, family owned, and proudly made with sustainable cheese. They're really good. I buy these at Sprouts. You can sometimes find these with Imperfect Foods, which is a delivery service that I utilize. Typically, I buy these at my local Sprout store. That's mainly where I've seen them. Whole Foods, they may be exclusive to health food stores, but they're really, really good. If you want to cheese it with protein, definitely recommend Chetty's. Now I want to talk about a dip because I love to dip my chetties. I love to dip my cucumbers. I love pretzel thins, sometimes my wild potato chips. And this dip is incredible. This is from the brand Daisy. They have a ranch, but I would say the French onion is definitely my preferred dip. Like I mentioned, when we talked about good culture, Daisy has really good ingredients too. No carrageenan, nice, clean, simple ingredients. Their French onion dip is so good. Troy loves this. He dips his regular potato chips in this. If you like French onion dip, if you're a condiment dip person, you will absolutely love this. It is by far the best French onion dip. Two tablespoons, 60 calories. Yum. I will use any Greek yogurt that has protein, but my all-time favorite is Chobani Zero Sugar. I think this is the texture of this is so thick and decadent. It's so good. It's not super sweet, but it has just the right amount of sweetness. My, I top it with my Chia Smash, my Catalina Crunch, some fruit. Such a great way to have a delicious dessert sweet treat packed with protein. With yogurt, again, that's a simple swap you can make from regular yogurt to Greek yogurt with protein. The Chobani Zero Sugar only has 60 calories and 10 grams of protein. So my all-time favorite, I buy it in where I can get my hands on it. If it's on sale at Costco, I buy the big case of it. Really, really love this. If you haven't tried it, I recommend trying it. It's like I said, it's my favorite Greek yogurt. Next up are these. Now, I used to buy frozen hash browns until I discovered Simply Hash Browns. These are in the refrigerated section, typically by the cheeses. These are the best hash browns. The ingredients in these are nice and clean and they're 70 calories for two thirds of a cup. And there's even two grams of protein. My protein bowl includes the Simply Hash Brown, one of the chicken sausage patties, one egg and some cottage cheese. It's a high protein, delicious filling breakfast. And I love Simply Hash Browns. I loved the diced with bell pepper. I love the diced with onions, but my favorite is probably the shredded. They're so good, so fresh. It tastes like you took an actual potato made it into hash browns. Definitely recommend if you're a hash brown lover and you just want a cleaner, healthier option, definitely pick up Simply Hash Browns. And last but not least is going to be one of my favorite foods, cheese. I love cheese. I don't eat fat-free cheese at all. I only eat light cheese on occasion. I pretty much just focus on regular cheese because the macro profile isn't that different. Yes, the points are different, but the macro profile isn't that different. But there is one light cheese that I really love and is a go-to for me, and that's this one from Sargento. So this is actually the reduced fat pepper jack. Now they do make other reduced fat cheeses, and I like this because it tastes like 
regular cheese. I don't even notice that it's reduced fat. It is the full thickness of a regular slice of cheese and it has 33% less fat. So it has 60 calories in it and is going to give you five grams of protein. Cheese is a great source of protein. It's a great source of healthy fat. But if I can save a little calories and fat and still get the full flavor of a full fat cheese, I'm going to do that. And the pepper jack is my all time favorite. Definitely check out the reduced fat version of Sargento. I think it tastes just like regular full fat cheese and you get to save some points and calories. So those are my top 24 foods for 2024. All of these foods, like I said, I eat daily, weekly. They are staples in my weight loss journey and my maintenance journey. I love these foods and I couldn't have lost 140 pounds without them. So they really truly are the loves of my life and my go-tos. I will make sure everything is linked down below with any discounts for you other than the foods that you can find at your local grocery store. I'll put the Chia Smash and Quest, things you can buy off of Amazon for a better deal. I'll post that. I'll link those down below for you as well. Also, let me know down in the comments, what are some of your go-to foods that have helped you be successful on your weight loss journey? And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe, turn your bell on because I upload five new videos every single week. Check out the description box for everything I shared with you today, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite help, my other favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Sunday, friends. I'll see you in the next one.